Recently, the Department of Environmental Health, via its weekly dengue update, indicated that it was intensifying its mosquito control strategies. This came on the hills of reports out of neighboring Martinique, where a total of 690 cases of dengue fever had been confirmed, in addition to some 3,000 suspected cases. Charletta Charles Leon, Senior Environmental Health Officer at the Department of Environmental Health, said the environmental health officers have completed their routine assessments at all schools on the island to identify active and potential breeding sites and have also done the treatment of the larval stage of the mosquito. Um, currently, we are undertaking our fogging operations, which target the adult uh, stage of the mosquito. All of this is an effort to prevent or to reduce the mosquito populations at schools and also um, to reduce the risk of the transmission of dengue fever. Fogging involves the use of the insecticide malathion, which targets the Aedes aegypti mosquito at the adult stage. This is the stage where the mosquito has the ability to bite and transmit disease. One thing that I must say, the fogging does not kill the mosquitoes at the larval stage. So at that stage where it is in the drums and the buckets and the miscellaneous containers, the fogging will not kill the mosquitoes at this stage. This is the reason that we would have sent the officers out to the field to do the assessments to look for those active and potential mosquito breeding sites and then do the fogging to kill the mosquitoes at the adult stage. Ms. Leo said the Department of Environmental Health has also been undertaking a robust inspection of residential residential premises in search of active and potential mosquito breeding sites. The department has also engaged the various communities in an educational outreach. Households are called on to reduce the number of mosquito breeding sites and to take personal responsibility for their surroundings. We ask that uh, members of the public uh, once a week they just take a little walk around the home, look for any containers that may collect water, accumulate water, whether it be your drums, buckets, old fridges, stoves, um, all your bulky waste. We're asking persons that you put your bulky waste out on your bulky waste collection days. They can call the Solid Waste Management Authority to find out when the bulky waste days are for their communities. If you have drums and you really need to store water, we're asking persons to just cover your drums tightly to ensure that no, no mosquitoes can access it and any bit of garbage or any miscellaneous small containers that you have around your home that are not in use that you could get rid of them or turn them over so they don't collect water and breed mosquitoes. The other thing that we're asking also is to um, we're, we're employing that the tire shops and the garage owners also make a conscious effort to get rid of the tires that they have, which have the ability to collect water and they are breeding mosquitoes as well. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is encouraging the public to seek medical attention if they are experiencing any symptoms of dengue fever. Symptoms of dengue fever include a sudden onset of fever, headache, joint pain or muscle pain, fatigue and rash. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.